Oh, hey, Kathy. How's it going? I'm just finishing up my promo blasts, then I'll be getting started. Feeling in a dabbing mood today? That's good. I'm glad to hear it. doing today. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> hey, here's a word of advice. If you're not being, if you are being chased by a bunch of taxidermists, don't play dead. You know, I, hmm, I never thought about it that way, but that's a, that's a good point. Thank, thank you for the sage wisdom still. You're doing decently? Well, I'm glad to hear that. And... Gosh, I always forget how many channels I need to do promo blasts for these days. Huh? Ah, I see, I see. Mm-hmm. Alright. And finally, Twitter. Okay. Let's jump over to Game Boy. <sighs> so, how did you like that episode of AEW we watched yesterday? Oh, not yesterday, Sunday, gosh. Um, I mean, it was all right. Hold on, let me readjust the size of some things here. I was wondering why that was so big. Uh, window capture. Readjust. I mean, I don't really have too much opinion i guess just because like i don't know i i haven't really watched it that long but i did really enjoy the matchup between the 19th century bodybuilder and the just feral uncle that, that was pretty good i don't know i mean like uh, obviously, some of it is some of the interpretation of the script is up to interpretation, you know, like I just said. But it it's it, it's it's pretty in, it's pretty intuitive to figure out what kind of plots are going to happen, you know. And I don't think that's something wrong with it. Sometimes it's nice to just have a little musical theater with two people stage beating the shit out of each other, you know? Okay, starting up the music too, which means I want to put on the credit. Oop, there we go. Ah. This is a, oh, there we go. Very slow start, or quiet start to the stream. I'm a genius? Why is that? What, what, what did I do? Oh, wait, hold on. Excuse you, keep playing. Just minimizing the window.
Okay. You gave... I gave you an idea? Huh? What was the idea? So get this. A wrestling opera? Ooh. Interesting. What did you have in mind? So, uh, over the weekend I was doing a little more work on it, focusing primarily on, oh, no, no, you minimize, on, uh, the mouth region. So, we've got the upper mouth, lower mouth, inner mouth, and the, the fang. Sorry, I'm just uh, in a Discord chat as well right now. So, like, it can take place in Italy, and there can be this business owner struggling to make ends meet, and suddenly the Undertaker cuts him a deal. You have to claim these souls for me, and if you do, you will have success. Huh. And of course, they're singing all this because it's an op. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a little confused by the concept, but I mean, they've made operas about far less intuitive things. Like, there's an opera, there's an opera about Richard Nixon going to China, so th this is already much better sounding than that. World Opera Fighting Championship? Huh. Okay, I'm listening. Alright, let's see. What's this one? Yes. I'm just asking Nia if she wants tongue. And no, I cannot elaborate and will not elaborate. It's part of my mystique now. I mean, there's an opera called Repo the Genetic Heavy. I, I know and I love that film. It is one of those films that has so much going on, that Repo the Genetic Opera is so much all at once. And yet, it manages to still be a really compelling piece of, uh, piece of... 
sort of sci-fi dystopian punk opera Also, hey, Zio, how's it going? Um, bruh, if that's all it takes to get you flustered, I, I'm clearly gonna have to build up your tolerance. How are you doing today, Zio? Oh, by the way, I'll, I'll also be eating my salad while I'm doing this, so, uh, I'll... Going good? I'm glad to hear that. Not flustered, but reacting to the joke? Wait, what, what, what joke? Oh, uh... I did not see that question, but, uh, oh, but, yeah, that, that, that wasn't a joke. That was literally what I was doing. Technically, it's still what I'm doing right now. Oh yeah, the, the phrasing was absolutely on purpose. I'll, I'll grant you that much. Um, and the tongue is just kind of because, like, there's there's no special reason for it. It's just something that I, I figured I can include, so I might as well... Oh, come on, what is this? Oh, right. How did it get that big? No, no, no. Give me, like, this size, maybe. It's just something that I could offer, so I figured I might as well, and she decided that that's something she wants in on, so sure. Alright, this.
There we go. Uh -huh. You found out why there was a sandwich in the radiator? Ah, another mystery solved. I'm glad to hear that you got some closure on that. I don't know if I want to know why it was there, but I'm glad to hear that you got closure on it. I always forget something with part of this. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty consistent all the way down. All the way down, saw you, you saved me from myself. And I won't forget the way you loved me all the way down. I almost fell right through. But I held on to you. The kids had fun. Uh, it doesn't sound like the most fun thing to have to clean up after, but uh, I, I don't know, at least it wasn't worse. You had them suspended? Yeah, that's fair. Oh, uh, no, actually, I want to hide the roller. Okay, let's see what she thinks of this.
Alright, so now I'm just gonna wait to hear back from her on what she thinks. And, uh, you know, while I am at that, let's also... If I hide this, which is gonna be outer tongue. Mm -hmm. Hey, Umbra. Why? I mean, I... I'm not sure if I understand the question, Umbra. There's a lot of people these days who have tongue as, like, a tracking thing because they have the ability to do tongue tracking. So, if... If someone wants to, like, have their tongue out, who am I to say no? You know? That's all. Make it sound like I'm doing something heinous. Ow! Oh no, I, I I did. That's a, a part of it that I can toggle on and off. So she can have tongue in or out. And uh, when her mouth is closed, it would also still be visible, kind of like if I use the example over here of like... Uh, it would sort of look like that when the mouth is closed. Got a little tonguey sticking out. This message going live, I imagine. Oh. Oh. Yeah, see? It's not like a weird, gross tongue, it's just a tongue. Sometimes a tongue is just a tongue. <sighs> Alright, so... I'll wait to hear back from her on that. For now, though, I can toggle off the outer tongue. And we can start work on some of the other stuff, so... I'm basing a lot of this off of the, uh... How the textures are divvied up for her current model. Well, not just current model, but her model, the elf model. So... I know that she's got basically, like... Let's see if I can find it somewhere here. I know she has, I think, two mouth shapes mainly. There might be more. There is the other one. Is this a mouth shape or can't quite remember. I know those are going to be pretty easy. Alright, well, let's at least do this other mouth shape.
turn the opacity down here so I can still see where things are, but don't have to uh, necessarily draw over them. So you can still see there's sort of like this faint part of the cat mouth. Oh, uh... Even fainter than that, I think. Maybe something like that? Yeah, something like that looks about right. Oh, no wonder this is being so difficult. I was using an airbrush instead of pen. Oh, I feel silly. <sighs> Excuse me. Yes, son? I guess it is that time. Are you hungry, baby? Okay, hold on. Oh wait, I don't need to do this. What am I thinking? I've got a BRB screen. Be right back. Alright.
directly at sound. Oof, and I'm back. That's too strong. What is going on with this? Why is this also a color? I'm sorry, what? There we go. That, that's better. That was so weird. I've been... sorry about this, Chad. I've been a little nervous, to be honest, uh, since yesterday. So... I promised that I wouldn't tell the birthday boy yesterday or I promised the birthday boy yesterday that I wouldn't tell all y'all that it was his birthday. Thank you for the head pat! Uh, so I promised the birthday boy that I wouldn't tell y'all that it was his birthday yesterday. But uh, over the course of things, I Skyped in uh, my partner Charlie. The, the one who lives out of state. And... He... well, they said that uh, they were actually planning to come visit this weekend, which 
I'm really excited about, but I'm also really nervous because, like, well, we're we're not going to be the only people that uh, they're visiting. To to be clear, they're also visiting uh, a friend and another potential partner that lives over in Boston. And I was... I don't know if I feel... like, insecure? Or... just extra clingy? Or I don't know, but... I guess I'm just worried in particular now about making a, a good impression. I mean, obviously, they know me. We've we've been partners for a while, well before they even like moved anywhere remotely close. Thank you for the head pat again. Well before they moved anywhere remotely close to where they live now and where I live now. But... I don't know. It's my first experience with the whole polygamy thing and... I don't know. Well... I mean, I've been polyamorous, rather, not polygamy, polyamorous for a while, and it's hard to explain. I, I don't think I've gotten, like, particularly jealous before, and it's really not a motion that I really want to make a regular part of how I interact with them or with uh, another potential partner of theirs because neither of them deserve it. They're both really nice people. So I'm, I don't know, just feeling a, a little self-conscious about all that still. But at the very least, I can make sure that they have a good time here, and uh, who knows, I might even get a chance to to meet the, the Boston friend, too. That would be good. I'd certainly like to meet him. Hmm. Okay, well... Clean this up now. Understandable. I'm glad to hear that. Just me, me. I'll try. Sometimes I'm not very good at that, but I'll try. Although, hmm, let me see.
好Hmm. All right. Still waiting to hear back from this stuff. So I guess at the moment I can take the time to try and make some of the eyebrow expressions. I know that I got uh, a video. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Ow. Thank you for the hydrate, Nina. Hope all as well. Yeah. I'm I'm nervous uh, about the weekend, but everything's going pretty well right now. I think. Also, sorry, I'm just looking for a particular video real quick. Oh, um, my long distance partner said that they'd be able to come up. And I've never had them up here. I hope so too. about that stuff, but now I guess I can keep going. Oh. That's right, she also needs a pout.
There it is. Yeah, that's pretty simple to me. What about you, Nina? How you doing? Doing good, relaxing after work. I'm glad to hear that. You deserve to have a nice relax. I guess it would actually be easier if I had this separate from the rest of the mouth parts. Wait a second, what do we have here? Oh, the, that's the pound still visible, right? Okay. Quick save of that, so even if we have to revert some stuff, we'll have progress. Have more salad. Oh.
See if I can find the fang on this sheet. Oh, you know what? Might help actually if I add a layer here. So, uh, see things against. Okay, that should help a little bit. Oh, there it is. There is the lighter. off work later than you hope. Oh. Well, at least you're off work now. Yeah, I would mean that I would probably need to keep the keep the upper mouth. Hmm. Maybe I could have this as like its own thing underneath that, and then and like toggle things around here? Hmm. Took your pills and you feel icky. Oh, sorry to hear that. Hope you feel less icky soon. Yeah. 
do that. I can keep the tongue as part of it. And... Now, let me see if I can get the video that she sent again. See if I can get this video to play. Hmm. Sorry, I realize this probably isn't that interesting, but I'm trying to study the video she sent of messing around with her model to kind of get an idea of how certain parts are going to need to move and what needs to be their own layers. Those are definitely separate, like, mouth forms. Okay, I think that helped a little bit.
Hein. Hey, Daryl. How's it going? Hope you're having a good one today. Colin. So I can get rid of these. Not gonna be needed. Rice and shrimp? Nice. It's been a while since I've had rice. Or, well, I mean, I guess that's true. I was, I meant to say it's been a while since I've had shrimp, but both of those are true, so. Oh, no, wrong one. We would like... Inner time. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's crunchy. 
that back up out of the way. Let's turn the teeth back on. Okay, let's hide uh, the bangs for a second here so we can work on the eyebrows next. Normally, I would just have like the eyebrows just be one thing and then kind of manipulate them as needed to make uh, different eyebrow expressions. But for, for her model, she's got them as like separate eyebrow textures and I thought it would just be easier to stick with that for consistency sake. Oh wait, actually no, before I do that, there's something else very important that I need to do. So, I can put those back on, because first, first what I need to do is make some drool. this to the mouth. Oh, come on. A lower mouth that is how much again? Not as much as you'd think. Okay. Let's turn the face opacity down then a bit so I can see what we're working with. There we go. Should also make sure yeah, so this is going to have to go in here because it needs to go beneath the outer tongue. So I'm planning on having the drool be something that has its own little jiggle physics. Since, since Nia pointedly wanted this to be a flat is justice model, uh, I'm gonna have to find other ways to put some jiggle physics into it. <laughs> Okay. 
Ah, no. Minimize. And bring me back to the canvas I want. Oh, wait. Her response to... Oh, bouncy hair time. Gosh, it's been ages since I've got a redeem for that. Sure, let me just, um... You know what? Hold on a sec. I have had it just about up to here with all of these uh, X, Y, and Z movements. Okay, let's give that another shot. Come on. Oh, that was a little glitchy, but hopefully that was, uh, bouncy enough. And yes, those are also Jiggle. No, nice try, B. Wrong again, though. I want it on the drool layer. Let's also take the opacity of this down a bit so we can make sure that the layer is working how I want it to. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Yes. 
But I mean, no joke, that is also a version of Jiggle Physics that I used for this model. I only very recently gave myself improved tit physics, so for a while that was my main Jiggle Physics. Hey, Odin! How's it going? Ah. Oops. You're doing fine? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing pretty well. I celebrated a special someone's special day yesterday, but I have been sworn to secrecy not to say who. And, uh, let's see. It's not bad. Um, maybe if I add a little more over on this side. BRB dinner time. Uh, you keep talking about dinner like that, Nina, and this is going to be my expression, too. Looking cute. Thank you. Uh, I'm doing well, though. I, it was also yesterday when I was spending the time with that special someone for their special day that I uh, realized that my long-distance partner was planning on trying to come up for at least part of the weekend, and I got very excited and nervous, and very self-conscious, too, because, uh, I, I want to not be clingy, <laughs> despite the fact that whenever offered any kind of, like, intimacy, I immediately am. <laughs> but hopefully it goes better than I'm, at, uh, worried about. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. I think we need some outlining here. And then once we have the outlining, I'll go into define some highlights. I hope y'all are enjoying this now, too, because, like, uh, this is going to be the lewdest that this model will probably ever look. I guess it could be worse if I add blush, but... You always enjoy my streams? Oh, thank you. would have jiggly banui form. To be honest, I've been interested in trying to figure out how I would do physics for a slime model, so I, I feel that.
we could. Having more salad too. player to the fluffle and I hope you enjoy it here. How's it going? How is your day? Heard there was lewd? Um, I mean, I don't know. Would you call the- could, could you possibly call this face lewd? Oh, uh, okay, then I, yeah, I, I guess by definition there is. <laughs> I see from your emote choice that, uh, you too, tape player, are a connoisseur of goblins. Okay, so, to be fair, to be fair, when I made the original goblin model... The reason that I gave it the drool toggle, believe it or not, the real reason I gave it the drool toggle was because every time in stream that I heard Nia talking about food, she would always go into one of those, oh, mm -hmm, kind of like, you can tell that her mouth is watering moments. And I wanted to have something that would actually be able to represent that. The fact that it could be used for lewd purposes was, honestly, no lie. I state this on my... I, I stake my entire reputation and relationships on it. Wasn't actually something I had considered. That was just sort of an afterthought of what happened. And that's the honest truth. I know it may be hard to believe, but that's the truth. How you doing, by the way, though, tape player? <coughs> Excuse me. I 
Excellent. Excellent. Doing well, busy. A busy week coming up, so you're taking it easy while you can. Smart, smart choice. You know what else I could possibly do with this? Make it a little bit transparent. That could be interesting. Mm, not that transparent, though. Um, let's try brush, small, opacity, like... 35? Oh. That's kind of nice, actually. What do you think, chat? Do you like the more viscous drool? Or do you like it better when you can kind of see some of her, uh, some of her face under? Oh man, how did that how did that get on that part? Okay, well I clearly need to change that. Okay, well I'll need to fix that real quick. Let's change head opacity. Okay, that looks fine. Um, so I say I hate when I accidentally draw on the wrong layers because stuff like that often happens. Do you know the source material of the heart eyes for Nia? Um, I mean, do you want the official, this is how she defines it in her lore answer? There is your problem. Got put on the wrong dang layer. Let's fix that then. You've heard the lore. You meant more if it was referenced off of a previous work of art. Um, I would have to... I would say you would have to ask Nia for that. Because uh, she shared with me a reference picture for how she likes heart eyes to look and um how should i put this she was very very flustered when i inquired as hey nia where did you learn about this what is this piece what is this uh piece of fine liter literature from uh so i'm i believe it or not Despite how much I enjoy teasing Nia, I do consider her a friend, so I would say you'd have to ask her. <laughs> ah, dang it, I put it on the lower mouth again. Ah, uh, that feels silly. Thank you. 
You think you did? She's not budging? She's not budging on what? Source of the hard eyes. Oh, well, now I feel extra special. There we go. Let's turn the face back on. There we go. God, this is the most viscous looking drool I've ever drawn. I fucking hate it. But that's how I know it came out well. <laughs> I already separate- oh, that's right, I already separated out the eyes. Hmm. I guess I can just separate them again real quick. What was this layer again? Oh, these are eyebrows. I should label that. Eyebrows neutral. Big Jewel also loved that the thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. I am of the opinion, tape player, that if a goblin does not have at least some, in this case at least one, big ol' pointy thing, that's not a goblin. That's a gnome in green body paint. Am I wrong, though? Am I wrong? Okay. Let's pull her hair back. Maybe? Uh, I'm sorry, Heavy. I've, I've never met a goblin that didn't have the proper dental work to show for it. Reduce the opacity on those. Let's double check the reference. Uh, let's see, where were these again? Ah, here's one. Okay, so we've got a little bit of the line here and then mostly follows that. All right. Oh, not a chance, 
I have a point? Nice! I mean, of course, of course I have a point. I know what I'm talking about. Usually. This will probably be a little easier if I slide uh, my eyes down a little bit so I can- uh, my eyes. My glasses down a little bit so I can take, like, alternating with without glasses looks. So let me just, uh... Mm -hmm. Oh. It's like my glasses are not working properly. Eh, oh well. I'll fix that another time. Since these are symmetri symmetritized, I don't have to worry about uh, making sure that the other one that I can't see is functioning. In fact, actually, with that in mind, I can just do that. As long as it looks right over here, it will look right over there, too. Also get the alternate color that I'm using for the underbrow lining here. There we go. Reducing the opacity again. Nope, nope, come on. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. I was wondering why it was coming out so faint. It's because I was on the wrong dang layer. <laughs> mm. Probably be a little closer than that. How's it going? I hope you're having a good day today. Could be better? Oh. Well, I hope that I can help make it a little better then. Messages all of a sudden. If I just used a bigger brush. just been sent a link by Nia. Let's see what this is. I've been advised by Nia to not open it in stream. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. What do we have here? I'm gonna mute the tab too. I don't think it has. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh. Oh. Not for it for an explicit uh hentai. This is actually kind of cute. <laughs> we don't see as much romance, I guess, in a lot of hentai. Anyway. You like romantic, explicit hentai, it's nice. Aww. Well, I'm certainly not going to link to the one that Nia just sent me, <laughs> but I wish you luck in finding your own. <laughs> Time to share it on Twitch.tv. No, no. I don't want to be forced to move to Fansly or whatever it is. Oh, you get back there, eyebrow. So, <laughs> Hello, Bill the Platypus. Uh, thank you for joining the Fluffle. How's it going? How's your day? Alright, let's see. Uh, let's... Okay, so here is one of the sad eyebrows. I mean... That's kind of like what we already have, to be honest, with the default eyebrows just inverted in how they are shaped, so that's probably just what I'll do for it. Eyebrow... Also, these should really be eyebrow. 
because they're going to get divided up into left and right. Although, you know what, let me see something real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, she does do it that way. Doing good, busy day, and heard Nia was spamming you with things. Figured you should hop in. Uh, well, yes, we are. We're currently working on. Um, we're currently working on the goblin model for Nia. I figured, like, I don't know why, but I feel like uh, this particular combination of toggles. Uh, it felt appropriate for the audience that might be coming in to just sort of leave it on. <laughs> this is like the character herself I don't think is going to be nearly this lewd. I don't know how Nia plans to play Ow. to play her goblin self. But uh, I figure since it's going to be potentially a while until uh, you get a combination of expressions this lewd. I might as well. I might as well give the people what they maybe want. I don't know. If her elf self is any indication. Wow! You're just reading her for filth, Bill! I mean, you always want... I mean... No, it's okay, Jeb. You can finish that thought. What were you saying? <laughs> We all just want a healthy mix of loot at the end of the day. You're an avid supporter of lewdness. Ah, I see, I see. Understandable. At the moment, I still consider myself asexual, so I don't think that I particularly care for, or particularly care about, rather, lewds. I'm totally fine with making them for people. And I do quite enjoy seeing the reactions I can get out of people with them. But I I get more enjoyment out of the teasing than the actual content. At the moment, at least. Who knows? Who knows what the future may hold? Y'all want to know something fun? Both my mama bun and papa dear are retired now. And in the past, I have shown them how to watch 
the uh, the channel here. And they have watched in the past for special events. So there's not a 0% chance that they might come in to stream to see me drawing something like this. I don't know. I feel like that adds an element of exciting danger to it, I guess. Would they even recognize it? Perhaps not on its own, but with the combination of it and also everything that's being said by me and in chat. There's a decent chance they, they probably would. Aaron Bun, if you're watching, you'd like to say your cryptid child is wonderful. Oh, thank you, Jeff. That's very sweet of you to say. So that is all of the eyebrows now. The sad eyebrows could probably be shortened a little bit though, so let me do that. That's the neutral eyebrows. Sad eyebrows, please. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Okay, let's see. What else do we need for face parts right now? Uh, I don't see anything else coming up on the face guideline layer. I'm gonna see if Neo wants, like, the eyebrows to be partially visible through the hair, but for now I'll just put those back on. Um, and hide that for now, since I don't think we need it quite at the moment. Who made Nia's current design? Um, I don't recall the specific artist. But I think that, I think it might actually be 
stated on, let me check something real quick. Yeah, uh, if you go to her Twitter page, the artist is linked in her bio. Okay, so... Uh, blush. I want to do blush now. Oh, wait, there is, there is also sweat. I can't forget that. We do have to do sweat too. get a solid reference of what this looks like on the model. Okay. Like a couple little squimps here and there. Your back had to be horky elsewhere. Alright. Well, welcome back, Kathy. Alright, so let's check the texture bible here. So it looks like it's done with, like, white, kind of faded out, and then maybe, like, a little bit of a liner underneath, too. I think it will kind of pop against the green, though, with the color as is, so let's do it that way. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Although let's also get the lining color too. This is definitely going to be a job for the airbrush, uh, and we'll want to turn off symmetry for a little bit here. Does it go over or... Okay, it does go over the eyebrows. All right. Sweat. Oh, that actually kind of looks better than I was expecting already. It really works. Okay. That's a sweat drop. That that's a sweat drop right there. Hmm. Hmm. 
Terrafront is down there because of the eye parts. So if I bring those up further, could I bring... There we go. That works. as well leave the reason that people came in here on <laughs> a little degens are, are you entertained are you not entertained art thou happy Carpet slaves to base instincts. You're in here to catch the stream. Aww. Thank you, Umbra. wrong tool. <laughs> Let's try this size maybe.
Uh, yeah, that works. Now there's supposed to be, um, hmm. okay, now there's supposed to be some more up further close to the top, looks like, probably I like three to four more. You're gonna go on Lurk, have a good stream? Thank you, Umbra. I'll do my best. I hope you have a good rest of your night. 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 A good rest of your night, too. Those look like that looks like a decent clued. It is 
Alright, let's fix that. I'd probably honestly put that even a little higher. Hmm, it doesn't quite look as good, I feel like, with, uh, with the green part here, so I think I'll erase that. Wondering if you should buy Chrono Cross. Um, would you enjoy playing it? Do you have the money to afford it right now? Um, I would say it's the kind of game that if you if you aren't actively enjoying it on its own without necessarily having to. Uh, get, like, 
if, if you don't enjoy it on its own, you're probably not gonna enjoy it streaming. I guess. Just gonna finish off my salad real quick. Thank you for the hydrate, Bill. Two hydrates, all right. Oh, thank you for the posture check. Let me stand up a second and then sit back down. Let's get some hydrates. Not sure. You remember beating it when you were 21, but most of it was a blur. Hmm. Well, I, again, I mean, if it's something that you think you would enjoy, and maybe you could, like, I don't know play a, a ROM of it or something like that just to see if you still got a taste for it. And if you do, then yeah. You can give it a shot. Let me check the reference video again. Think you have your copy on PS1? Uh, are you still able to play it? In which case, I would say give that a shot first. And if you find that you still enjoy it, then consider... Maybe then consider if you want to get, like, the remaster with all that stuff. We can probably move those up a little more, I think. Oh wait, but... Okay. I think it's less that and more that I gotta move it over a bit more. Now let's give that a shot.
Let's take these off to the side for a second. So we can add a few more across the board, so to speak. It's going to be covered, of course, for the most part, but since their hair is going to be a little bit of a wiggler, I want to make sure that we still have uh, the ability to see something over there. Okay, I think having like one kind of center-ish could be nice. Tears of sweat. Oh, what what are the different tears of sweat, Bill? Please do enlighten me. Just click the stream and the first thing you see is a goblin, a hey gal. So, with all these layers on, is this technically an a hey gal? Perhaps. But, but, most of them are ears that large legal? Yes, I do have my ear license. How do you think I was able to get away with these? Uh, but to answer your question, 
I have perfectly innocent reasons for most of what you see here. So if I go back down into the mouth, the drool is because it's a joke from the original model because she talked a lot about food and was always like very audibly, yeah, she's, she's really into that food. That's where the drool came from. Believe it or not, honest truth though, I did not originally design that part of the original model with lewdness in mind. Then you've got the tongue, and that's just because now that she's using a, uh, she's using an Apple phone, she's able to get tracking for things like tongues, so I figured, hey, I might as well use it. There could be some kind of fun use for that. Plus, this way I could have it so that when her mouth is closed, but her tongue is out, she's doing one of those little cat kind of like mlems. The sweat, I got no uh, innocent explanation for. That's entirely on her. I mean, I can't deny, and I won't deny. I mean, if I if I wasn't enabling her, I wouldn't be a very good, like, model maker now, would I? My whole goal as a model maker is to try to help someone bring a character to life in the way that they want it to. So yeah, if that's what she wants, then that's what I'll give her. How you doing, by the way, uh, Ericon? I don't think I've seen you around before, so welcome, welcome. Or if I have seen you around, it feels like it's been a pretty long time. You've had a different name before, that's why. Oh, oh, welcome, welcome. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I know not of your identity from before you were Ericon. Oh, I just drooled a little. Ugh. I know not of your identity from before you became Ericon, but I am uh, glad to have you back. Also, I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly, Ericon. Audrey, Audria, Audrey. Hmm. I'm not sure. To be honest, I have never had a very good memory, and also, I'm just going by what uh, OBS told me, where it gave you, uh, it gave you the little uh, pop-up window of first-time chat. But either way, it's nice to have you back. I hope you've been doing well. How have you been? What you been up to? nice to be back. You got your first test for your physics course back today. Ooh, how'd you do? Well, I hope. Uh, that feels like a decent amount of clues. I guess I could add one more to the right side just to kind of create a little bit of symmetry. 
You gotta be. Hope it keeps going smoothly. You're mostly studying. That's kept you from uh, being on Twitch lately. Uh, well, it is. It it is always very important to take care of your your human sona and their life before you consider like internet life. It's so easy to just neglect IRL responsibilities for the dopamine dose of internet. Yeah, that, that's why it's so important to make sure you are able to, like, account for your priorities. I know I'm cer I've certainly been guilty of that in the past, and unless I actively focus on what it is that I'm doing day to day, it's something that's very easy to slide back into. Oh, speaking of, that reminds me. Uh, I'll be right back. I need to go grab my uh, my pills for the night. Be right back. Alright, well, it was going to be a easy in and out, but I just found that Totoro threw up, so I'll be right back. <sighs> Alright, I'll be right back. I need to go clean that up.
I'm back. Uh, let's see. Oh, looks like I missed a little bit. Ow! Uh, ow. Ow. Hey, Silver. Ow. There's the thousand yard stare. Relatable. <laughs> Face. Ow. I make when I freeze up and don't know the answer to a question. IDK and but I could be wrong is great when you're in and out engineering classes. Generally, out. Make an assumption and note that you out. Made that assumption that way you still get points out for doing the calculations. Ow. I kind of want to ask about the lore of the model. Ow. Ow. But also don't want ow ow to distract from the work and ow ow. And that's more ow important. Ow. Ow. Anyway, it's getting late. It was ow. It's nice ow. Hanging with y'all. Ow. Ow. Ah. It was nice hanging with y'all later. All right. I'll see you around if you're still here. Ow. If you're still here, Bill. Uh, pretty late here too. Gonna start lurking for now and get some tea and go to bed. All right. Ow. Oh, all right. Uh, Ari, uh, Aricon. Thank you uh, for ow. Thank you for coming around. Ow. Night bee. Oh, you're going to bed too, Woden. All right. Take care. And hey, Sad. Hey, Silver. Uh, and I mean, I don't have all of the lore. Uh, Bill, but if you are still here and you are interested, I can at least answer some questions that I know answers to. I don't mind. I like being able to talk and work. Oh, music stopped too. I better switch over to the next one. <sighs> oh no 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 I'm I'm still going I still got a while to go uh it's not even nine o'clock yet so we haven't even hit the halfway point yet I was just cleaning up Totoro's uh throw up slash hairball and then, uh, because I had to deal with that, I decided to treat myself to a slice of, uh, birthday cake.
Hey dear. Appear me, Jessica. Oh. That's right, Tibby. Ow. Uh, yes, it's one in the dryer. Okay, so... I... got all that taken care of for expressions. Uh, no, keep playing. Um, looks like it might be time to do the blush. Or, oh, that's right. I also need to do the uh, the tears. Let's see. We, for the face parts, we still need the blush, the tears, the evil and sad uh, gradient tints. Um. After oh. And the uh, XD eyes. And the glasses. Okay. Alright, so while I wait for that, um... Let's do the XD eyes next. Now that we're finally done with the flutes. Okay, so it's it shares that uh, gradient effect that we see here. So we'll need this color and this color. That's pretty straightforward, though. Cause in tight, cause in tight.
There we go. Yeah, that looks about right for a length. Now let's finesse out the sides here a little bit. Oh, uh, that's right. I'm gonna up this again back to 40. I was hoping that the, like, the childish innocence of the XD face would kind of help, like, diffuse the horniness, but, uh, no. Turns out, uh, that's... it's not really happening. Ow. Okay, you know what? That one was fair. Embrace it. <laughs> Embrace what, Silver? <laughs> Embrace information technology? Oh, okay, okay. Let's take another look at the reference video to see how the XDIs look. 
in action because I want to make sure that they're about the right size and spacing apart. Show me them XD eyes. There we go. Okay. Yeah, those are fairly spaced apart. Can probably shave a little bit off the fronts here. And it looks about right. I think we're gonna have to tilt them a little bit though. It's definitely gonna be easier to do just by adding in or slightly changing around the lines than it would be to Edit everything else around it instead. I know what I can do. Brush density. It's a little better, I think. Yeah. 
these dang dishes away, BRB. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and a couple more, please. Okay, so let's see, we got the XD, um, oh wait, no, there's still one more part of the XD I wanted to get. We're sticking with face parts. This is probably a good time to add on um, the, um, oh, actually, before I do that, turn off symmetry again for a sec. So I can split up the XD eyes. This is a problem. Where is that going from? Oh, right. Boy. I'm 
now I can set it up. Though I might not want to put it into the eye parts quite yet. I probably should though, to keep better track of it. up with the face. What is going on with that? Let's get out of line. Well, there we go. Nothing was drawn directly onto it, so no problems there. Okay, let's do a quick save. Now we can hide. The XD eyes for now. Okay, so it's probably a good time to work on the blush next. Oh, it looks like also some of the plutes are on different layers. Hmm. That's something I might want to. Something I might want to consider doing. You know what? Yeah, let's do that real quick. be a little more able to have different parts of it visible and moving around properly. So many flutes. Let's make a sweat folder. That'll probably be a little easier. Okay. 
Wait a second, we got two that are labeled too. Apparently I can't count. That's not a big surprise. Oh my god, oh no, oh, oh, oh god, ah! Gonna head off to do your thing. Oh, alright, have a good one, Nina. Thank you for the bits. I hope that you are having a good time, then. Anyway, before I get too deep into subdividing the parts right away, we still gotta do the blush. want on a lower later a lower layer than or we want this on a lower layer than that yeah yeah hug 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 <laughs> okay so this first one is going to be kind of the uh these, like this sort of soft blush that's more or less always on, I think. Let me see. Well, maybe it was this? No, that's the heavy blush. Then there's this, which might be what I'm looking at here. Oh, well. Totoro puked. Uh, actually, incorrect epitome. He also puked a time before that. This is your turn. I have it documented on stream that I found and cleaned up Totoro puke earlier as well. What we see going over her nose and cheeks is this section, I think. Let's also lower this opacity a little bit. Yeah, should do. I'm probably gonna have to adapt the blush color a little bit to look right when it comes to being on a green face. Re-enable the body symmetry for a little bit, though. Oh. I always do that.
Yeah? Dear, uh, I, I told you that I actually found a puke before that that he did tonight. So it is your turn. Did you hear or I hope I I hope the music wasn't too loud that he couldn't hear. Okay, let's see when the different blushes go on. Or was there something that you wanted to talk about? Yeah, I'll help. Hold on. I'm coming. Alright, be right back, chat.
I don't know if he really needs condolences. He... It's weird, he does not seem to be bothered in the least by throwing up. So... I feel like that's not a good thing, but I don't know. Right now, I was checking the video to see... If I can... I don't know. I hope not. Maybe I gotta load the video up again. It closed out for some reason. Alright, let's see if I can fix... This might also be old blush that I'm looking at. Oh dear. I heard a crash and I heard Epitome uh, asking if Toad Rose okay, so that doesn't sound great. Okay, yeah, it looks like this is an old blush, so I can probably ignore that. Oops. So we're looking more at these. Mm, looks like they kind of slightly overlap with the bottom of her eyes. What happened? To Totoro, you sounded worried. He fell off the table. That he's not supposed to be on? Yeah, but he like... Oh, Is he okay? I think so. Okay. He can have a little of my pity as a treat, then.
Ahorita. Hey, Heavy, welcome back. Nothing. It's okay. Been looking at big anime cat eyes. Oh, what for? Was that a banner ad? Huh? What do you mean? actually look kind of like pencil. Oh. Every time. Can't draw them, but always having ideas. Mm. Fair, fair, fair.
probably be easier than... Oh, I might be able to use a mechanical pencil. Oh yeah, that's it at full west. We definitely don't want it that intense. I am then going to have to do this on a different layer. Well, that should still be fine. heard something loud going boom. Oh. All I can think of is, oh, it's the sun again, huh? What? Yeah. what did he do? He's where he shouldn't be. That, that's many places. On a food prep surface. <sighs> oh, you boxed it. Hmm? You boxed the little gremlin. Oh, mm -hmm. it fit. It'll fit? Uh, yeah. I think we should probably put more in it so it doesn't jostle around in there. Hmm. And I can bring it to the post office tomorrow. Sounds good. I have an appointment with a oil change. Okay. He's alright. He was just up where he shouldn't be heavy. And knocking things over. And knocking things over. Don't know what he knocked over, but I know he knocked something. Forty. I hate my voice. God, I hate my voice. Me now. Oh, that's why. <laughs> You're excused. This time. have these error more on the side of the side. Hey, hey! What are you booing about, huh?
Oh, no, no, no. Uh, people kept making that mistake, Odin, but that's why I added a separate one, which should literally be labeled as Ghost Boo, or something like that. Don't worry, pretty much everyone makes that mistake. Oh, that's fair, Heavy. You're a librarian, you're expected... You're expected to read things, so it's probably just like an instinctive nature sort of thing. Oh! Uh, I sent uh, Nia a status picture and her first response is just a long key smash. I think this is working out. a little bigger. <laughs> yeah? The song's ruined for you? Why is that? You're so used to the meme version. Uh... The weed one? <laughs> uh, hold on a sec, chat. I want to grab a picture of something real quick for posterity's sake. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon Pretty stretch for all y'all. <laughs> So it looks like we got an okay on the layers so far, so 
Oh, uh, oh, there was one thing though. Actually, she wanted the blush to be a little lar. Oh, no, not like that. To be a little larger. Actually, I should be able to just do uh, more airbrushing. I think. Oh, oops, that's right, I need to re-enable this. Dang it, every time I do that! Every time! Okay, well, I fixed it, at least. Making a model gets complex. Yeah. I like it, though. Ow. This song needed this. Uh, the emotes aren't loading yet for what you're saying. Oh, there we go. There's the tab. Now she also needs a more intense blush. Let's see, where is that here? There it is. I feel like there's still a little more concentration on the cheeks, but it goes all the way across too.
I don't want to beast right now. These are all one way too. I think I could have eaten, um, with it. And that could work too.
Try bearing it up for request. So I'll see if that works. Oh, no, get back up there. All right, she approves. Mm. 
Pittsburgh. So we got the blush taken care of now. leave those on just to kind of get used to them. I've probably played the the horny art thing for all it's worth at this point. I guess I can keep it on though. Doesn't really hurt it at this point anyway. Eh, whatever. Okay, let's see. Where were we? Right. I think glasses are next. She, she wanted these really fun, big old glasses. One of my favorite kinds of glasses, to be honest. When I, uh, when I started transitioning in earnest, one of the things that I did as a treat to myself, since it was around the same time that I was doing a optometrist checkup and I, like, needed uh, new lenses and all. I just, uh, I just got myself some fancy round glasses because it was a very specific kind of tumbler, soft goth aesthetic that I enjoyed and they just worked fantastically for it. So where did I put those? Let's see. Looking for the hair front. There we go. We need that, and we want the bangs also away for a bit. Come on, come on. Come on, move up, please. But we can also probably get rid of face by now. There's nothing really that we need that, uh, that guide layer for. Wait, I, I know how I can do this. Should be relatively easy. Oh. 
also this kind of needs there to be uh, I need there to be the symmetry. That would help. y'all out there in chat are still enjoying yourselves. I know I am. Actually, you know what? I wonder how this would look in like a nice silver. But that could look nice. Sort of like, um, also need to erase this a little bit. Oh, right, that's the flute. Gosh, I feel silly now. Also gonna need to be uh, above all the eyebrow overlays. Hmm. That could still probably work, I think. Hmm. I guess I could also.
Go go Power Rangers! Go go Power Rangers! Go go Power Rangers! Oh wait, actually, I don't have to necessarily do this because, going by her other model, these do go above the hair. So we can have it like that and pick some, uh, some nice color. Just 
When is that coming out so faint? I wonder if it was looking weird. I hope that y'all are still enjoying this too, chat. I know I am. Oh, no. Put that back. 
Dabble. Hey, Tibby. You're vibing? Glad to hear it. Does that? Hello, oh, thank you for the half pot. to vacuum in here soon. Excuse me. Now I need to do the inner layer. Which actually could be a little easier. Before I do that though. Uh, let's see. Dodge. I would like that color, but that's not that color, though. What is going on here? Right. Right. No, that's not gonna work. Yep, I figured it would look something like that. Oh, wait. I would like this to go on the record, please. There we go.
that's not quite what I want either. No. Oh, right, that's why, because I had reduced the opacity, E. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. Thank you, Nina. I didn't know you were still watching. Welcome back. Oh, well, that explains why. Welcome back. <laughs> Just wanted to play a little Pokemon Brilliant Diamond on your stream. Ah, nice. Well, welcome back. I'm happy to have you. Doing it as a Nuzlocke? Oof. Those are always rough. Epitome is really into Nuzlocke's, but I'm uh, not really so much. I wish you the best of luck, though. Those can be very unforgiving. Almost lost your starter. Oh, that's scary. How did they pull through?
Lots of potions. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. There, Shadow. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. How you doing? Oh, hold on. One of my lights just went out. What's up? Ah, oh, there we go. Got a little unplugged is all. We're good. How you doing? How is it going? Mm, you know what? Honestly, I don't think we need to be inner lining. No, we don't want to cut it all. Undo that stuff. You're good? I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing pretty good too, thanks. I spent most of today chilling, relaxing, and maxing all cool. I did some cleaning around the house, I ran a couple of errands, and now I get to do this. Tina kept confusing your Pokemon and they kept hitting themselves. Oh, that's the worst. I, I always seem to have the worst luck with any kind of status effects in Pokemon. So most of the time I just don't even bother. Maybe I should try making a copy layer for this. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, hmm. Kind of like that, actually.
correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you're you're fairly new here, so I feel like I don't know much about you yet. But I hope I get to get the chance to get to know you. Because the, oh, it's just because the brush density is so low. The second time you've been here, you think you're a trans artist? Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, welcome. Come on in. Always happy to meet fellow artists and fellow transes. Hope you're having a good day. How, how, how have you been handling the whole being visible this week? Because I know that came as kind of like this, whoa, effect to me. Mm 
you wear your trans pride shirt and you got trans pride stuff all over the place so you're basically always visible. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of people it's either you have to kind of develop a camouflage or you just have to make yourself so so open and openly out that you're kind of beyond reproach that way. At least beyond some reproach for stuff. From a distance, I think it looks fine, so we can probably carry on from here. Yeah, of course you live in Portland, which was like most trans folk of any city. Mm. That sounds pretty cool, not gonna lie. I know there's some other parts about Portland that are not so great, so I'm glad to hear that as something to balance it out a little bit. I'm glad to hear that. Alright, so now we want to select these areas. We can even select a little further just to make sure. Do. Hello. Did this get moved? No, nah, this didn't get moved over. It just looks like it. Weird. Alright. Well, first. Let's see. So it looks like there's kind of a. Like there's a white. And then it's kind of just nothing so much for a bit. Okay, we can work with that. Portland got hit hard by COVID. Now there's a huge homeless population. Oh, that stinks. Hopefully something will... I don't know. I, I just hope that people are able to have that worked out for themselves and for everyone else sooner than later. I feel like that's such a non-statement, but... I imagine it's because people, like, can't work, so they're not able to afford, like, rent or mortgage or stuff like that, if I had to guess. But I don't live in Portland, so... Are the economy crashed? Ah, yeah, that sounds about right, then. Well, you get back there.
that's about right. Uh, let's see if we can also maybe blur it up a little bit. Let's try maybe like a four strength. Your strength. Six strength. Five strength, I think, should work. And there's like a little kind of speckles around too. Hmm. I wonder if it should be less at the top though. it might look odd if you can see like all of the light on it all the time. Let me take a look at my own glasses. Oh, these are really dirty. Probably clean those. kind of see when they're lit up the whole the whole circle of the reflection I think I deserved that. And I'm glad that you agree. Let's try it with the blur filter. Just a little bit.
back in a few. Gonna step outside? Yeah, no problem. I'm still going for another hour. And honestly, I feel really good right now. I'm gonna still limit myself to 12 because we have a house rule that I'm, like, not allowed for my own good to uh, keep working on artwork past midnight. Give myself some time to wind down. I'll still go until then, though. Yeah, let's see, are there any other details I need to recognize about my own glasses, since I'm using these as the basic model? Other than this one, two, uh, multiple smudges. Uh, let's see, there's no visible pins like there are in the elf model glasses. Uh, do need to add the bit on the sides that extend off to the arms, though. the uh, bridge of the glasses. Don't see that. Is there a bridge? I'm sure. Yeah, she must have. There it is. Okay, yeah, there is a bridge. It's just a different color. Okay, so we can get that again. Good. Tell me your yeah, I'll wait for it to respond. There we go. Yeah, 
know that looks about right. Glasses, bridge. I'll need to extend the bridge to a little bit. That's fine. And do that plenty easy. this as a chance to even out the sides a bit more too. They do need the extra outlining. Ow! Yeah, Tibby, what's up? Did you want to tell me something? Nothing just to yeet into the void. Fair. You know what? Fair. Now we also want the sides of the glasses that are gonna go uh, into, or not into, but over where the ears will go.
see I'll probably want to have some kind of like arm going off the sides too that won't always be visible but when like she turns her head it becomes visible not the right picture. Why is that there? Jeez. Okay, edit that. Delete that. That's wrong. It's supposed to be. There we go. Hey, Elf, welcome back! Ugh, that was a weird noise. Welcome back! How's it going? It doesn't look safe for work. Um... I guess it isn't. <laughs> To be fair, though, I only need to click a couple of things to make it safe for work. Namely, uh, I just click that, and that, and that, and we're good. Easy peasy. However, I've found that there has been a couple of fresh faces that have come specifically because they are DGENs in Nia's server. And I talked about uh, how she wanted to have both the return of the drool uh, toggle as well as also adding in the tongue toggle. And then I got to the part where I was drawing the sweats and, you know, I, I figured if that's what brings people in, I might as well leave it on for now. Let's see, are there any arms to these glasses? I don't think so. Degenerates, all of you still love you all. Aww, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> 
just checking my reference video that she sent. Okay, so... Where are we seeing that shadow, if at all? I don't see it. No, not the lewd one, the actual. Like, just, this is how her model moves showcase. Where are the frills? Well, we're working on the face parts at the moment, but later on we'll be getting these frills. We'll also be getting the frills at the bottom of this. We'll be getting the little bit of frills on the shoes. So don't you worry. I, I am good friends with members of the Lolita community. I would not deign to make something that didn't have frills and call it Lolita. That would be criminal. Also, as, just as like an alt outfit, in addition to the tube blouse, she also is going to have a uh, Serafuku, because like, kind of started developing a sort of nautical theme, so I figured, hey, I'll, I'll just roll with it. checking the arms of the glasses yeah, to see if there are any. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay, there's no glasses arms. That's good for me. Okay, so now I also, uh, let's see, uh, the glasses reflection, that's right, these ones, it's basically what I did for mine too. All right, so let's see, let's go to the lenses, select. back, Shadow. Pleasure to have ya. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Don't know what the break was for, but I hope it served you well. Okay, let's see. So, got the inner part of the lens selected. You know what? Let me just let's just let's just do the whole thing, you know? Why not? Yeah, 
way I did this before. It's basically making this all white and then reducing the opacity here down to just one. Now what that does is it makes it so there is something I can click on to give me all of that. That's going to be important in the sec because what I'm going to be doing with that is that is going to be the clipping layer for the glasses reflection. So let's do do do. How, how big is the glasses reflection compared to the glasses lens? Well, it's, it's not huge. You probably get away with like boop, 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 boop kind of daily. Epitome poured a glass of milk so he could take his nighttime pills, drank the whole glass of milk, promptly forgetting about the pills, and just now remembered that he has pills he needs to take. I'm starting to feel like there's some credence to that thing where it's like, you start uh, acting like a partner if you're with them long enough. You do that sometimes, too? Mm You've done you've done it with your pills in your hard. That sounds hard. And uh I don't want to play one upsy, but I will say earlier today, and I'm not proud of this, earlier today I did that while they were actively in my mouth. Cause like I I have to have my I have to have my pills in a very specific part of my mouth if I'm preparing to swallow them, and I, it was right as I actually put the bev in my mouth and I completely spaced and had the pills in the wrong spot so I had to force swallow them. That sucked. What? What? Y 
He says he's mildly concerned. Only mild, but still concerned. <laughs> You have no problem swallowing pills. You literally swallow like 20 pills at once, sometimes more. Yikes, that's intimidating. <laughs> Yeah, and Epitome is a pharmacist, so he knows a lot of pills. This layer, of, sorry. No, I, I didn't want to put it in there, are you silly? It's not gonna work. It's not gonna be clear enough here. But I should still be able to have it set up for the rigging without a problem. Oh. Hey, Serata! Just got out of D&D, &D, got ahead to bed, but saw you were still on, so hi, love you, have a great night. Oh, thank you! I hope D&D &D went really well for you, and uh, sweet dreams! Have a good, have a good snooze! in. No, definitely not. Okay, fair enough.
It will be easier once we get to the actual uh, rigging process. It's like you can kind of see it with mine too. At least we should be able to. Let me just... There we go. And that's basically how I did mine, so... We should still be fine with that. For now, I can bump this up all the way and then just hide that. And of course, this is all also before I have to subdivide the lefts and the rights and all that. So we still got plenty to go, oh, don't you worry. Unless you are worrying about something else, in which case I, I guess you can keep worrying. I, I don't know. I don't know your situation. Okay, so where do we want to go from here? What is there left to do on the head slash the face? Zedruli Goth? Yeah! Hey, Pan! How's it going? Let's see, is there anything left to do on the head? I got the nose, eyes, eyebrows, the variations of the eyebrows, the hair... She said no on the earrings. Uh, glasses. I think we can move on from here. Pretty chill. How's gob making going? Pretty good. I uh, I mentioned on the server that uh, I was that I had gotten the okay to bring back the drool toggle from the original goblin model, and that Nia also. Uh, like green lit me adding a tongue toggle and I just posted a picture of those two on and um, attracted some new degens so that was pretty cool been mainly working on the face stuff tonight uh, oh that's right I need the the shade the scary s shade and the I am scared shade Alright, so... Hmm, interesting. It's actually kinda... Huh. Okay, so maybe I'll... I wanna do it like that then. That could work. Okay, we'll call this beautiful shape. What about you? How's your day going? Hope you've been having a good one. No, that's not right. Um... How is that not the foreground color? Please me? Okay, uh... No, that's not... that's definitely not it. No. No! I guess we're technically getting there. Let's just try doing the airbrush way. Hey, Halsey! 
Uh, but yeah, to answer your question, it's been going pretty well. I've been focused entirely on making the different parts that will go onto this model's face. Uh, and I've been feeling pretty good about those. Uh, there's still more of them to go, I think. I think. If I'm reading the texture atlas that I'm kind of using as a guideline for this, though, that we're almost done with the with the the parts of the face that require or the parts of the model that require the face. So we should be able to move on from there fairly soon. Pretty chill. Did have one customer at the Wizard Dollar Store call to see if we had something in stock. She went on for a solid five minutes about how great a type of flashlight we have in some stores and that we should get more, even if we don't control that. Cool. She sounds like such a great customer. I'm so happy for you. Also, let's see this. See, this needs to go above the eyes and also above the mouth. I think. Let's double check the video reference. covers eyebrows, it covers... it does cover the eyes. Okay. You're falling asleep, gonna hop out? Alright, take care, Umbra, and thanks for stopping by. Also, how are you doing, Halsey? I don't think I touched base with you yet, but I hope you're having a good one. Ow. Ow. Oh, wait, what? What? You're, oh, uh, you're doing, eh, got a cold and it's kicking your butt? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope you feel better soon. BRB, need food? Alright, and welcome back, Odin. Oh. <sighs> Every time. to right about like the mid-ish point of her eyes. We should be able to do just fine. Maybe even darken it up a little bit nearer to the top. Mm, it's a little too dark, I think. That's good, though. Also, you're in the process of moving, so you haven't been able to stop in streams much. Oh, well, that's all right. I, I wish you the best of luck with the move. I don't know where you're headed, and frankly, as someone who you barely know on the internet, you probably shouldn't tell me. 
But I hope it goes smoothly. I hope you feel better soon. And uh, I hope you're happy in your new place. Heading out, Tibby? Alright, sweet dreams. Also, I want one for beer shade. Let's get a nice sample of this big old deep blue. And also, just make sure. Yeah, I think that's a smooth enough gradient. I'm happy with it. Oh, you're not going just telling hells. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, right. Carpenter. Thank you. I mean just to breathe. Those days are gone. To where? The storm. I don't know why, but I cannot listen to this song without wanting to sing along specifically in bad butt rock. I don't know why. It's a perfectly good song. I enjoy it. And hold you down when you want me to. You can feel with me as real and true. It's just the butt rock instinct of mankind. <laughs> oh no. Oh! After this, I also need to do the, uh, the fear. Uh, not the fear, the tears. That's the other thing that the owl still need for the face. Glad I caught that. I'll tell you what, I will lift you up when you need it. And hold you down when you want me to. All the things I feel, I can feel with me. It's real and true. Alright, and this is definitely something that's going to be turned down in opacity too, so I feel pretty good about this one. Back with some cereal. Nice! What kind of cereal you got? Beyond belief. This one actually doesn't even go that far down. It's more like, uh, around just about to here, I think. I can probably go a little lower than that, though. Hide the middle hair for a second again. My soul endeavors to find some love as I have some God alone. You are so much more than what's been done to you and more. I tell you what. Hold you down when you want me to. So feel you can feel with me. That's real and true. You up when you need it. And hold you down when you want me to. All the things I feel you can feel with me. That's real and true. You up when you need it, and hold you down when you want me to. Things I feel you can feel with 
me. That's real and true. See if we can find the tears. Probably be easier since they're mostly translucent to turn that on for it. There we go. Someone hearing the song for the first time, it does kind of feel butt rock. I, I'm glad that I'm not the only one. I feel a little bad for like the original artist who I can't imagine intended for their song to be taken that way, but I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> Alright, so you want the Spanica stuff. Um... This, this goes above the eyes, though, right? Let's see... Yes, okay, these go above the eyes, got it. So, butt rock cover karaoke when? Um, well, I mean... If you look up there, you can see that uh, I'm about four people away from hitting the, uh, hitting the big... 750 milestone so if people want to hear me do karaoke either good or bad or somewhere in between like all butt rock is then uh maybe that'll be something it will depend on someone bringing it up and if people like it then sure Actually, I think that number is, like, one off. I think I only have, uh, 745, not 746. Oh, well, I, I lost a follower. Oh, well. Whatever will I do. Uh, butt rock? Honestly, I have no idea how to define the butt rock. I know that's the last thing you would like to hear, asking... <gasps> asking for a definition of butt rock, but that that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, any Sonic 3D game music that has lyrics, good chance of it being butt rock. Like normal rock, but cheesy and extra. I, I, I guess. I guess so. Uh, we only have 10 minutes left together, chat. I'm kind of sad. Hmm. I don't think I have any good 10-minute uh, long <laughs> exactly things I can have us listen to, though. I guess I can just, like, start up one of the sets again and let that go. That'll do. Let's also save everything we've done at this point. Okay, so we are doing some tries. Let's hide the glasses. Where did I put the glasses? There, I put the glasses. I can just hide all that stuff. All right. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. So we want this above the eyes. So let's do it here. Tears. Fine tears of rapper. 
Yes. A frapper. Does anyone still remember Flight of the Concords? I really enjoyed that show slash band. You very much do. I'm glad. I'm very glad to hear that, Pan. No, nope, keep playing. Okay, so this is gonna have to have to be moved in a little bit, I guess. You know a few of the songs but never watched the show? Eh, that's fair. The show had a very limited window of, are you able to watch this or not? Only went for like two seasons. It was a fun show though. Very silly. Um, can we hide the eye parts for a second? Thank you. I'm sure they have clips on the- oh, absolutely, I- I have to imagine they would. Want to know what you have to deal with in your state? Um, I I don't know. 
Do I? When you put it that way, I'm not sure. <laughs> Ugh, that doesn't sound very pleasant at all. I, I got nothing constructive to add to that, just, uh, yeah. You're valid for thinking that sucks, because it, it, it does sound like it sucks. does sound like it sucks. What are goat heads? That, that's a good question. I don't know. What are goat heads? Hmm. Maybe if I do this in two layers, it'll be a little easier. A goat with a head? I, I should hope so. The alternative is a goat without a head, and that doesn't sound like a very good deal for anyone involved. like we're just about ready. A sticker plants, basically a cow truck, but kind of looks like the head of a goat. Huh. Yeah, never heard of those before, but sounds interesting, I guess. Yeah, I I can definitely uh, I can definitely try pulling that out sometime if you're interested. For now though, it's time for me to sign off. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, you're gonna... There we go. Close out of that. Let's put away my equipment. Oh! In at the last moment! Oh, Odin. That's very sweet of you. And you should know, Odin, that I'm quite proud of you for what you've been doing recently with your first job and all. You've done a lot, and you should be proud of yourself, too. So that's why you, yes, you, are tonight's little pog champ. Mm. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to check to see if the person that I'd like to raid is still going. And if she is, then we'll head over there in a sec. Uh, first things first, let me run through these real quick. First link is the Discord. We've got a lot of really cool people in that community already, and I'd love for you to be able to meet them. Uh, I'm also always on there, basically. If I'm awake, I'm on there. So if you want to talk with me, great place to do it. We got Throne. If you want to buy stuff that will like directly allow me to 
do stuff streaming wise better sure if you want to do it in some other way or don't have the means or just don't feel like doing it in a material way that's fine your company and viewership and all that whenever you can is more than enough uh we got the twitter I post memes, I share stuff I care about, and I post my schedule every Sunday there. And YouTube, which is where I put my VODs when I remember to put my VODs anywhere. Uh, my next stream is going to be do, 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 tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. I believe, let me double check just to be sure. I hope, I think, I'm sure, let me check. Yes, tomorrow is more of Kirby and the Forgotten Lands at 2 p.m. EST. I've been really enjoying that game so far. Don't want to commit to it yet, but I might end up doing some uh, some kind of 100% attempt. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I hope to see you there if you're able. Now then, we are going to be raiding... So Priscilla is going to be going on hiatus starting tomorrow because of a uh, surgery that she's taking. So I want to give her one nice send off at least for the time being. If you're coming along for the raid, here are some options for raid messages, depending on whether or not you got a subscription here. And let me just wrap my arms around you, chat, and squeeze in a big hug. <clears throat> and give you all a little... Thank you, Kiss. Who cool, just joined your Discord? Awesome! Love to see it. Hope to get to talk to you again soon. So yeah, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it tonight, and I hope you had a good time too. Uh, take care until I see you next. That could be tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST for Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. But for now, take care, sleep tight, and remember, some bunny out there really cares about you. It's me. I'm, I'm the bunny. Hi. And now, goodbye. I love you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Bye. Oh, those do a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't like it here. Poggers. Poggers. Oh my gosh.